My name is Kenneth Ntende, and welcome back to the Monkey Pesa channel. Today my job is simple, to help you understand what CRM is. The short form CRM stands for Customer Relation Management. But what does that actually mean? So let me take you through. Alright, so to better help you understand what Customer Relations Management is, I'm going to use an example. Say you're an e-commerce company, you're now growing, you've reached probably 1K plus customers. In order to support these 1K plus customers, you'll need probably 5, 10 sales staff just to handle the requirements of those customers. What you have to keep in mind, however, is these customers are at different phases of the relationship with your business. You might have customer one who has just signed up and interacted with your brand for the first time, and customer 900 who has been ordering with you over and over and over again. So there are two ways you can manage this. Either to in order to manage the relationship that you have with this customer, meaning all the orders that are being placed or whatever, you can deploy people to track where well, I have, I'm a salesperson and my job is to handle this specific customer. But the more the customers you get, the harder it gets for you to deploy no one person to manage each customer. Reason being, these people are now too many and their requirements are too many, so it would necessitate you to keep hiring more and more people. Or, to go with option number two, where you have a software that keeps track of any interaction that your company has had with that person. That way, even if customer, even if salesperson one is not in the picture anymore, any other person could pick up and see what other conversations I have had with this customer and just pick it up from there. That is where CRMs come in handy, just to maintain that two-way relationship and know any conversations between the person that's buying your product and the company. So what should a CRM entail? So these are the three components that every CRM must have. So the first one should be the ease of communication. Communication has changed. It wasn't like those days where you, all you had was your phone to make a phone call or send out a text. There are now so many platforms and each of these platforms is equally important to your business. I mean, a customer could come out of Facebook, they could come from TikTok, they could come from Instagram or any other platform whatsoever. So when you're getting, when you're choosing, when you're making a choice for a CRM, choose one that integrates as many of these options as possible. If you can have a centralized location for messages coming in from Twitter, messages coming in from Facebook, Instagram, and 30 other channels, that would be more ideal for your business. Luckily, at Monkey Pesa, this is what exactly we do. We try to bring together all these platforms under one umbrella. So that as opposed, for, as opposed to you being on WhatsApp, Kita, Messenger, and all these other platforms, you have one centralized place that all your communications can be done from. At number two, your CRM must be in position to automate several simple tasks. There are some recurring tasks that keep happening over and over again. As an example, people sign up to your website every day. As others are using your website frequently, someone might be signing up today. So your CRM must be in position to automate simple tasks, such as if someone has signed up, what should we do? What email can we send this person? Do we need to send them an SMS? Put that in a sequence so that it automatically knows that any new person that signs up, this is what I am supposed to do. That saves the cost on the sales team from sending emails out all the time. So the third thing that your CRM must have is data integration. As a sales team, you have data, but the rest of the company also has its own data. As an example, yes, you might be using the Monkey Pesa CRM, but your accounting team is using QuickBooks. Wouldn't it be nice if you, the sales team, can know when a payment has come in from QuickBooks and that information is easily available to you so you can know what exactly to communicate to the end user? I believe this is where the world is evolving to and the more data can communicate, the better for your company as a whole. So now before I close this off, uh, let me tell you a bit about the Monkey Pesa CRM. Now um, our CRM is dubbed the Monkey Pesa Sales and Marketing Hub. 
we bring together several components that your entire sales and marketing team will possibly need. I mean, whether you want to do webinars, whether you want to manage your social media, whether you want to do your email, whether you want live chat, it's all embedded under one platform. So that regardless of where your communication needs to go or is coming from, you can manage it all in one place. We're trying to eradicate you having to use 30, 40 apps just to manage your entire business. Why not do it under one umbrella? I mean, these are powerful, limitless tools just built to grow with you from startup to Fortune 500. Check it out. Um, sign up at dashboard.monkeypesa.com to know more.